There was a funeral today in St. Louis for Michael Brown, the black teenager shot to death two weeks ago by a white police officer in Ferguson, Missouri. The Cardinals baseball cap he was wearing when he was killed rested atop his casket. His distraught mother was among the mourners in a church that was filled to overflowing. Vladimir Dutier was there. 4,500 people were in the church for the service. It was part memorial, part call to action. Reverend Al Sharpton gave the eulogy. Michael Brown must be remembered for more than disturbances. He must be remembered for this is when they started changing what was going on. But Brown's uncle Charles Ewing wants more. Michael Brown's blood is crying from the ground, crying for vengeance, crying for justice. Brown was shot six times by Darren Wilson, a white police officer who stopped him and a friend for walking in the middle of the street. Brown was unarmed, but police say the 18-year-old hit the officer and tried to take his gun. Three witnesses say Brown was surrendering. No community in America would tolerate an 18-year-old boy laying in the street four and a half hours, and we're not going to tolerate it either. Whatever happened, the value of this boy's life must be answered by somebody. When you look at your two sons mm -hmm. and you see what happened to Michael Brown, are you afraid for them? Absolutely. I absolutely. We met Casey Smith and her son Damien outside the church. She doesn't know the Brown family, but feels a connection. Once he's 16, 17 years old, being an African-American male, running around St. Louis, doing what African-American teenagers are supposed to do, will he be mistaken for a thug? More than a quarter of a million dollars has been donated to the Brown family. But legal defense funds for Officer Wilson have raised at least 388000 There were some demonstrators this weekend offering him support. Now, at a rally on Sunday, Michael Brown's parents asked for peace while they lay their son to rest. And indeed, Maurice, it has been a peaceful day in Ferguson. This was also the day that kids went back to school for the first time after an 11-day delay due to the unrest. Vladimir Dutier in St. Louis, thank you.